Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to talk you through the gar hammer and the gar hammer extending. We're going to be using this bench. Now with all gar hammers, you can do that on an incline, which is more advanced, or you can lower it down to flat, which would be easier. So a regular gar hammer, I'll show you on the incline here. What you'll do is make sure you sit up the bench a little bit. You don't want to be down here. You're going to hold on to the bench. So you're pulling this way on the bench to give yourself some leverage and you're going to start with your hips at 90 degrees and your knees bent. What you'll do is you'll take your abdomen and you're going to crunch up over your elbows and then slowly go back down what we call one vertebrae at a time. So up and then you're going to lower your vertebrae, click, 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 one at a time as you go. So that is the regular gar hammer. And again, you can do that on the incline or on a flat bench, which would be easier. Now, in, what I also want to show you today is the gar hammer extending. And this here is an advanced way to do the gar hammer. So let's pull it up a little bit. What you're going to do is the same action on the way up. So the beginning of the movement is the same. You're going to curl up. But rather than going down like we did before, gonna take your knees, push them away from you, not all the way, just a little bit, then slowly fall back down to the bench with control, stop, reset, go. Extension, slowly go back down, one vertebrae at a time, reset, go, extension. So that is the Gar hammer extending, if you cannot control the negative, then lower the bench down or don't extend your legs quite as far. You do not want to go all the way out like a dragon flag for this variation. Just push the knees out some and then slowly put your body down one vertebrae at a time. So that there is the gar hammer and the gar hammer extending.